What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know who it is. But if you don't, this could vibrate Valentine. You to pulled up to the block market. This is hood money investing. I wanted to take this time to holler at you, beginner investors and traders out there. And some of you advanced traders and investors, because I want to see how y'all feel about everything that's going on. We reached our price target of 50 bucks two weeks ago. That's what I happen to say uh, AMC will hit. And if we happen to run over 50, AMC will probably run after that. Once we got over 50, that's exactly what happened. And then we were stopped in our tracks, just like GameStop. Now, it wasn't halted and you know continuously halted like GameStop but you can see where AMC is being pulled down and manipulated right now we're hearing about AMC and GME and other stocks being on a dark pool uh they're saying GME is a thousand dollar stock on uh dark pools they're saying amc is a thousand dollar stock on dark pools we're hearing that citadel melvin capital the dtcc the sec robin hood and other institutions have colluded against retail investors to stop these prices from surging it's just so much going on that, you know, I I mean, I didn't know all this was going to happen, but this is what I was talking about as far as people just thinking that this stock was going to go to $100,000. Not saying that it wouldn't because the technicals, you know, clearly show based on the synthetics, the short shares, and everything else that they've been doing. It shows, you know... We own the float. We own damn near 100 percent of, you know, all the shares. And, you know, at this moment, it's just no way that these people can get out of the situation that they're in. Uh, we see that GameStop is leading the way. GameStop is like a battering ram for these other stocks. And we have been shown that as long as they can keep GameStop in control, that these other stocks will not get out of control, like AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Nokia, SOS. It's just so many different companies that's been shorted at the moment. Naked, I mean, it's just, it's out of control how many companies that they've shorted into oblivion, you know. And uh, that's why I just wanted to do this video to see how you beginner investors and traders feel, you apes, you diamond handers, uh, because... I had this conversation and I just wanted to see, you know, if a lot of people were ready to deal with the same nonsense that was happening with GameStop. Now, as you can see, AMC is being pulled back down. Me personally, I'm ready for it to come back to that 38 mark so I can go ahead and just dump. You know what I mean? I, I'm sorry, not dump, scoop. My apologies, you know what I mean? I'm going to get my ice cream scoop out and go ahead and get some of this haagen -Dazs. I'm waiting for about 38, 37, and then I'm going to go ahead and buy about at least another 100 shares. You see what I'm saying? Right now, we down, and, you know, that's cool because I expected these dips. Right now, I'm down 7%. So, altogether, I'm probably down like 40% in each portfolio, probably, yeah, around 40, 50%. So, you know, I expected it, you know, um, because of how GameStop was running. You know, you could clearly see that AMC would mirror GameStop in some way. So that's one of the reasons why I expected it. Now, I should have sold more GME shares uh, because I would have been able to eat that sweet dip. But. It is what it is, man. You win some, you lose some. I've been uh, constantly throwing that SOS in my back pocket in each portfolio because I just really do feel like with the price of Bitcoin dropping, with Ethereum 2.0 coming out, you know, and everybody, uh, not everybody, but more and more people are 
involving themselves in cryptocurrency, learning about it, educating themselves, and it's still in its infancy. So I really do believe that uh, with Ethereum prices coming down, Ethereum Classic prices coming down, uh, Ethereum 2.0, with all the contracts that's being built on the Ethereum blockchain, I just think that, you know, SOS has a real good opportunity to blow, especially with them, you know, uh, 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 building more mining rigs to uh, mine more Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's just how I feel about that. So, you know, please, man, let me know how you uh, uh, fellow beginners, investors feel out there, you ladies, you gents, uh, about AMC and GME. As you can see, they won't allow AMC to go under 40 bucks. And I just, and, and that's because everybody is going to scoop, scoop, scoop. And I think, you know, that that right there alone, man, with everybody holding, you can clearly see with the volume everybody's holding, you're not really getting any sellers. Uh, you have uh, Melvin Capital there's I mean, not Melvin Capital, excuse me. Adam Aaron is even being, you know, uh, uh, put under surveillance by other apes in retail because they're they feel as if. He may have something to do with this this squeeze being delayed as well. They're, they, you know, people think Adam Aaron might have his hands in, you know, what's going on, and he's not being honest with retail. So everything that's going on right now, you know, you got executives from AMC that's selling shares. I mean, it just seems like everybody is dumping shares, making money off of retail at the moment, and that's the reason why I told retail investors to be careful because I happen to see this with GameStop and now we're seeing it with AMC where the price is going up, coming down, going up, coming down. And it just seems as if that, you know, these institutions are putting in puts and calls and they're constantly still shorting and they're just making money on, you know, the back end, the front end, the middle, you know, all over the board as long as we hold. You know, the volume clearly shows that it's holding. You know, uh, you can clearly see we've had strong consolidation the last, you know, two weeks. Uh, so all this uh, uh, other stuff that's coming out about AMC and GME and now everybody's saying, you know, they're still telling you to hold and all that. That's the suspicious part to me. You know, it seems as if now they have to come out with all of this different news to keep you engaged. You know, that's the reason why I'm looking for other plays. I'm, I mean, I keep my eye on GameStop and AMC every single day. Don't get it twisted. I'm looking at the charts all day. I'm looking at the movement, but I am not going to stop uh, uh, educating myself or uh, trying to find other stocks. It's just not, it's just not going to happen, you know? So, you know, please don't get caught up in this. Tell me how you feel about these dark pools, about the SEC, uh, stopping trades, uh, for GME, DTCC, uh, Robin Hood, Citadel, Melvin Capital, uh, you know, AMC, we're hearing that, you know, there's, there's people saying that AMC, you know, CEO, like I said, Adam Aaron has something to do with this and he knows what's going on. And it's basically looking like they're making money off of us, man, that, while we hold. And it's, it's clear that this stock price can shoot up to a thousand more. I mean, we don't know. It's, we're in uncharted ter territory. And it's clear that this can shoot up out of nowhere. All these stocks have been moving crazy. They're all moving the same. Now everybody's saying that GameStop and AMC is moving together after I done said it like a month ago. You know, so it's just like, um, I just, you know, as a beginner, this is the reason why I don't have too much to say because with these guys, with these, with the technicals and the data and their a uh, 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 constant barrage, you know, of, of, of this stuff every day. It's almost as if people are locked into what they're going to believe, you know, uh, and me having this small YouTube channel is, uh, good enough for me with the people that I have on this side, you know, that have the same feeling that you have to use psychology and common sense because these people are colluding, even these YouTube content creators, 
You ask yourself, how do content creators pop up out of nowhere for six months? They're only around six months, nine months, not even a year. And all of a sudden now they're on CNBC. Does that I, I mean, and, I, and this is not any shade. I'm just saying that is very, very suspicious, especially someone that says they've only been trading for a year. And now all of a sudden you're a professional when it comes to reading stock charts. People have to be careful. You know, tell me how you feel about these dark pools. Adam Aaron, does he have something to do with it? They, 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 their, ex, their execs are selling shares. I mean, they're trying to issue more shares, uh, you know, on the market. They're talking about it's just so much going on right now. Please tell me how you feel about this, because like I said, it just seemed like to me they're going to do whatever they can to keep retail investors from getting this money. This is Convive Ray Valentine. You done pulled up to the block market. Please let me know how you feel. Drop it down in the comment box. Where you think AMC going? And tell me where you, you know, how you feel about everything, man. Do you think we're going to make it out these uh, deep waters? Once again, you done pulled up to the block market. This is money investing. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at me. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? Mm -hmm. After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. And Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put y'all in the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>